It's time for another edition of Around the Mesa presented by MRC. John Schaefer with you for GoAztecs.com and joined today by Stacy Newman, Denise, Associate Head Coach, Head Coach in Waving for San Diego State Softball Program. Stacy, great to have you. How are you today? Thank you for having me. I'm, I'm excited to be here and, and uh, you know, it's a, a crazy time in our world, but, you know, I'm hanging in there and, and uh, getting through it as best I can. Tell us about this new opportunity for you recently being named head coach in waiting. What does that mean for you? You know, this opportunity means everything to myself, to my family, to, um, you know, the, the, the program, I think, as well, just that consistency moving forward. You know, it's something that we've, uh, I say we, Coach Van Wyk, myself, have, have approached um, administration on a couple of times in the past, and, and it, it finally felt like it was the right time in 2020. And um, I'm so thankful that John David um, supported this and made this happen. Um, you know, I've, I've got a, a young family, two young children, and right now we're, we're feeling like this is, this is home for the long term. And there's, there's a, a security that you don't often get in the coaching profession um, knowing that you're going to be somewhere for an extended period of time, it feels so good. I've been here for 12 years now, and um, I've been part of that growth process in within the softball program during that time frame. And I'm just beyond excited and thrilled to uh, to be able to have that uh, that knowledge of what the future holds for me, and and um, continue to build the program into the future. You've had other head coaching opportunities. So, what makes San Diego State such a desirable job? Well, you know, some people run away from the term mid-major. For me, I embrace that because I think it's um, there's a blue-collar uh, aspect and, and, and part of, of the mid-major level that I, I love. Um, I love what San Diego State's about. I love the people that I work with, not just the coaching staff, but also um, the people within the department. I, I really do believe in the, the mission of San Diego State Athletics as it stands today. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm excited about so many – huge things that are happening. We need to talk about Mission Valley, talk about the, the success of our major sports in football and men's basketball, and women's basketball. It's a great time to be an Aztec. And um, when you combine the, the personal and the professional opportunities for me and my family, it, it's, it, it's a no brainer and um, something I'm really excited to be, be a part of for the, uh, the, the future. What type of experience has it been for you learning for well over a decade now under the mentorship of, of Kathy Van Wyk? Well, Kathy has been around the block, right? She's been coaching for 30 plus years. Um, she's a tremendous leader. She's a tremendous administrator. And I think in the coaching world, um, that administration aspect is, is probably the hardest part. You know, a lot of coaches and young coaches, you know, they love the game that they coach, but it's the, it's the administrating a program. It's leading a program. It's making hard decisions. Um, I feel like I've gotten tremendous experience and I've been under the tutelage of someone that does it as well as anyone uh, managing a program. And so I feel like she's done everything she could do to ready me for this moment. Um, you know, it's not quite there yet. I've got a couple more years until she's actually going to retire. Um, but in the meantime, you know, she's really laid the foundation for me and, and, and brought me in as much as she could in decision-making processes and such. So I just feel like I'm really ready to go. And, and it, it's really due to her and, and her, um, her mentorship through this whole process. What's the state of the program like right now? And what's the process of recruiting like when you're in the midst of uh, this pandemic for the last three months? Well, I think for all of us, everyone in the coaching world is, is um, trying to figure it out. You know, what does virtual recruiting look like? How do you, um, how do you convince a player to come to your, to, your, to your school when they haven't even ever been on campus? Um, we actually had this happen. Uh, there was a, a transfer that we were recruiting in January, starting in January. And um, when all the pandemics hit and things started shutting down and, and um, you know, the recruiting dead period was extended and she, her official visit that was planned um, had to get canceled, of course. Uh, I really thought, oh, well, there's no way. You know, how are we going to get a girl from Florida, born and raised in Florida, played at the University of Florida? There's no way she's going to come to San Diego State sight unseen. Well, it's the world that we live in, right? So we had to get creative. We had to, you know, again, do what we could in terms of communication, just one-on-one -on -one phone calls, video calls, um, Zoom calls with administration, you know, academic folks, people that she wanted to meet in person, obviously couldn't do that in person. Um, I think it's a, it's a learning process for all of us, you know, and what is it going to look like moving forward? I don't know. I mean, I, I'd like to believe that we're going to get back on the, the recruiting trail here soon physically, 
uh, at least maybe late in the summer, if not in the fall. Uh, and it'll start to work its way back to normal. But, you know, in softball, they're talking about, you know, videoing and sending virtual links to softball tournaments to watch recruits. Uh, you know, I think a lot's going to get lost in translation in terms of uh, develop, um, identifying talent in that way. That's going to be tough to do, I think, from a, from a camera only. But, um, you know, we're working it out, and I think we're going to be more creative and, and um, definitely technologically more advanced than we ever were previously. So there's, there's some silver lining in all that as well, I think. You know, your program has been to the NCAA tournament, I believe, 11 times since 2001. What is the next step for San Diego State softball as you look to the future? Well, in the immediate future, we, we need to get back to the postseason. We've been on a couple-year hiatus, uh, and that's, that's something where we were really excited about 2020 season. We were looking good. We were starting to play really well as we headed into the, to the, uh, the conference season. Obviously, that got cut short. Um, so I think, first and foremost, it's us getting back to that um, that postseason and and just reinvigorating the program in that way. Uh, I think then beyond that, it's you know it's continuing to recruit heavily both on the transfer portal and in the high school realm. Um, we've had some great success the last couple of years with the transfers, um, high level, ac uh, both academic and athletic type players that are that are serious serious game changers for us. Um, so I think that's going to continue to be something we're going to going to push moving forward. And we just have to put it on the field. You know, we can sit here and talk a great game about what our plans are and what our goals are, but we, we just competitively, we got to just, just get it done. And I think when you have a program that's got some momentum and some energy and then you can start winning, that's, that's, the, that's the magic, you know, combination, the two things together and, and the, the, you know, the sky's the limit. Now, you had a storied softball career, obviously, as a player. What do you consider to be your, your, uh, your greatest career accomplishment as a player? Man, uh, <laughs> um, I've had some pretty good ones, honestly. You know, I, I was fortunate. I played in three Olympic Games. And uh, I've said this before, that it was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to, to be an Olympian, and I got to do it three times. So um, I think just, you know, being able to compete at the highest level, of course, winning gold medals and things like that. But um, – you know, I, I probably could not pick out a, a singular moment. Um, there's been a lot of great ones, but I think now as I, as I take those experiences, I move into, you know, and I continue through my, my coaching career, it's, it's that mentorship piece that I love. You know, I'm a people person. I, I, I love being a teammate. I love being on a team. Um, that camaraderie piece, that interaction, the communication. And now I get to do it, you know, in a different role, obviously a much different role as a coach. Uh, eventually here soon in the near future head coach but um it's it's the people you do it with it's you know you talk about the environment at san diego state you know we we have all the resources that we could ever want but it's the people that's what makes it special and um you know i look back on my career and and amazing human beings i played with let alone yeah they were talented and they were phenomenal softball players but they were amazing human beings and you know i think right now in the world that we're living in with all the uh you know, the, the insanity happening across the board. Um, you know, you lean back on the, on the relationships and the people that you've gone through life with, and that's what matters most. So I look forward to, you know, the future of the program and doing what I do in, in the job as a coach. Um, and it's the people, that's, that's, that's the, always the, the number one takeaway. Well, Stacey, congratulations on the upcoming opportunity, and thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thanks for having me, guys.